Welcome back to the weekly staff roundup. Sorry I'm late this week. I've not been feeling the best for the past couple of days, but of all of the episodes to be late on, I think this was probably the one that mattered least. So let's jump right in. The supervisors this week were Yukihiro Kitano and Hiroyuki Sakai. Sakai or Itai, depending on how you read his name, is Super's newest supervisor. He's not actually new to Super. He's been working on the series as a key animator since the very beginning, but episode 64 was where he was first promoted. What this does mean is that I don't know exactly what his animation looks like, and that unfortunately highlights a flaw in covering an ongoing series. Until I see more episodes by him, I can only make very vague assumptions, and since Sakai hasn't actually done any first key animation in his own episodes, I can't really do that either. So we're going to focus on Kitano since luckily he's the animator who stands out most clearly, and unfortunately it's his work that lets this episode down. I'm sure at this point you've seen screen caps of things like this, and that lack of quality is found throughout most of the first half. Kitano isn't an animator that works well under immense time pressure. With good time his work is mostly okay, but when rushed he's delivered some of Super's worst episodes. The average turnaround time for a Super episode is about 6 weeks for a regular one, and up upwards of sort of 8, 9, 10, sometimes more for the big ones. Kitano had 5 weeks for this episode, but he also animated on episode 66, so the overall time he had was probably significantly less. Sakai had 3 weeks since his last episode, so presumably his input wasn't that significant either. So this was a rushed episode, very very rushed, and it really shows in this first half. Fortunately you do have Takio Ide stepping in as the chief animation supervisor to clean things up a little bit, and of course you have talented animators like Nobuyoshi Sasuke Sakado and Futoshi Higashide providing great work throughout. The second half is where things really do step up, and that is likely thanks to the two aforementioned animators. The dinner scene is mostly fine, I do believe that is Sasakado's work, just based on my very limited knowledge of his style. The close-ups will seem reasonably polished, which is obviously what really counts during dialogue-heavy scenes. We then move into the farewell, which is clearly the best-looking part of the episode, and what I think most people will remember. This is primarily by Higashide, I think, though we do get a very nice shot of Goku from Takio Ide, which is definitely a nice reminder of exactly why he is a chief animation supervisor. But back to Higashide, while I definitely can't say that this is all of his work, a lot of it is very reminiscent of the work we saw from him back in episode 52. I think the most obvious tell that this is probably him is the effects work as Vegeta punches trunks. Higashide has a habit of using this sort of crisscross effect to emphasize impact, and although this next bit is very subtle thanks to being all blurry and translucent, Higashide has very distinct and sharp effect shapes which you can sort of just about see here. A few gorgeous close-ups later, and that's a wrap for episode 67. Not a whole lot to talk about, honestly. I think even if I did know Sakai's style, I don't think I would have had a whole lot to add. Episodes like these that are mainly dialogue-driven don't really warrant much discussion unless there's something unique about it that really stands out, and this was a pretty uninteresting episode. Before I go, I want to mention a few things. Again, my animation catalogue is linked in the description for those who want to investigate Super Staff on their own time. And lastly, I want to shout out Saku blog. They're a website that covers the production of a variety of different shows. You will honestly learn so much, even if they don't specifically cover Super. They're a great site, so you know, please do go check them out. But thanks for watching. I know this wasn't the most in-depth thing in the world, but I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.